Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I wanted to talk to you about this fantastic product called Local Stack, which is a fully, fully functional local stack. What you can use it for? You can use it for when you develop a cloud application like me, you often go and have to deal with the console of AWS. You need to get permissions from uh, your manager. You might need uh, to try tables, try to do things uh, in the cloud, uh, and you need to go back and forth to try to understand, uh, create and delete buckets, uh, have all sorts of issues, and you might end up deleting user production data. Should not happen. However, you never feel as comfortable uh, working with the real deal uh, rather than having something in your local. This is where local stacks come with. It allows you to develop uh, and test uh, your applications locally, although they actually are meant to run on the cloud. So let's have a read uh, what is local stack. So you have an easy to use test mocking framework for developing cloud applications which means you can locally develop your cloud apps by using uh, something that looks like a cloud environment where you have all the things that are on your cloud, on your AWS. However, you don't have the same uh, limitations that are uh, on a typical cloud application, such as uh, uh, delays in the deployment, uh, a complicated uh, uh, setup, uh, etc. It's used by thousands of developers worldwide, which is always a good thing. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install local stack in your local machine by using either Python or uh, Docker. And then after this, we're going to set up a simple project using uh, um, a database. In uh, this case, I'm going to use uh, um, DynamoDB tables and then set up a full example with Nest.js in which we're going to use the NMODB tables uh, for a simple CRUD application. So let's get started. So to get started, go on localstack.cloud, go on localstack.cloud and click the Docs button. And this is going to tell you what is localstack, it's going to give you a link to, um, to GitHub, etc. To proceed on the installation, you're going to find the most updated instructions on the left. However, assuming that I don't change at the local time of writing, it's to uh, install them, you need to use pip. Now, pip is of course uh, made in Python, so if you don't have Python installed on your machine, uh, make sure to install it following the instructions. Uh, on python.org. If you are a Brew user, you might also use uh, Brew to install Python. I recommend you to use uh, uh, the uh, local environment for uh, pip. So first of all, we are going to open our terminal and source our uh, virtual env for Python. In my case, I'm using uh, Python 3.9.4. And then we're going to run the pip install local stack. If we run local stack dash h at the end of the installation process, we should get this set of messages. This means that the local stack installation was successful. A utility is to start this Docker image uh, with, uh, um, with our local stack image. In uh, here, you can remove the local stack API key because uh, it's if you are using uh, um, the pro mode, which I'm not covering in this installation also because I don't have it right now. Um, however, we are gonna mod we're going to see this serverless, uh, these services is what we're going to actually care about. Um, if you set up uh, this serverless, essentially it's a shortcut where uh, LocalStack is going to run all the most used services, uh, which are things like uh, Lambda, DynamoDB, the API Gateway, S3, SNS, and um, IAM. 
So, what I'm going to do, or well, what I've actually done, I'm going to show you, is uh, you're going to have a Docker, Docker Compose in which you're going to specify serverless. You can also not specify these two because they're already covered. And then uh, simply run Docker Compose app. And you're going to see an image that is going to run uh, on port localhost 4566. And then using the AWS console, you're going to be able to use it. So the first command to run in here is to run the command AWS configure to tell the AWS CLI to access on our local stack installation. So for AWS access key ID, we're simply going to put a temp, you can put really whatever because um, local stack, uh, um, it's not going to be configured with the real one. We are not even configuring or accessing the internet. So in this example, just putting temp and temp. Now we can, actu we can actually see how to do some operations on S3. We need to specify the endpoint URL being localhost 4566, and then we run the S3 and then LS. This is going to list the buckets that we, already ha that we have. In this case, I have none as I haven't created any yet. So let's create a bucket and let's do mbs3 and then the name of the bucket, which is S3. And I'm gonna call this mostly code local bucket. And now this should be created. Okay. The next bit is to upload a file to the bucket. So I moved myself inside the folder where I, I put my local stack docker compose.yaml file. And I'm going to create a simple test file that I'm going to upload to local stack the bucket that I've just created. So the command is AWS S3 and then cp, the file that I want to copy, so testfile.txt, and then the bucket in which, I want to, in which I want to do perform the upload, followed by the file name, and finally my endpoint URL, which is still a localhost 4566. And this upload happened. So if we now run the AWS S3 list, we're gonna see the bucket that we just created. Let's go on with our uh, local stack and let's have a look at another example in which we're going to create a table on DynamoDB. In here, I created a DynamoDB the template following well, the instructions for, from the AWS uh, CLI documentation. I created a table name, the table name demo table creation local stack I have, some I have one attribute, ID, uh, which is of type string, and the key schema, the ID is, a, is of type hash, and I gave uh, five read and write capacitive units. Now, let's open the terminal. First of all, we need to set up the AWS um, CLI, so we need to run the config command and give it uh, a region, otherwise the command won't work. So we're going to keep temp, temp, and then we give a region name, in my case, Australia Southeast one, and our output format. The next bit, we are inside my local stack directory, so I created this DynamoDB template.json. Now, the way in which this command works is that we need to provide uh, the full path to this UI. So I have the command here, and uh, so we set the endpoint to localhost 4566. We run the command DynamoDB create table and we provide the CLI input JSON flag and then the file with the full location of the file. So file triple slash and then my path to reach this file. So now we run it and now this is going to actually show us the uh, items of the table we just created, which is the demo table uh, creation local stack. So now we can actually run, rather than the create table, we can do list list tables. It's going to give us the table that we've just created. And finally, we can actually do delete table, uh, demo table creation local stack. And now if we run again the list tables, we're going to see there are no tables in here. 
So this is everything for today and my quick introduction about local stack. We saw how to integrate S3, um, how to use, uh, how to create, delete and list the tables on uh, DynamoDB. And um, essentially this is a quick tutorial in which you can learn and explore more um, AWS items without actually having to spend a fortune on AWS, on AWS uh, or consuming up all your credits. I hope you guys enjoyed your video. If you did, please uh, leave a thumb up or leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thank you very much, bye bye and see you in the next one.